Hey, Rachel. So um, you and Dr. Jones talked a little bit about exercise. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about exercise? Um, you know, mm -hmm. I really do want to start exercising more. Okay. I think it's time. Yeah, okay. Um, and what makes you feel that way? Um, you know, I just, I've had this extra weight on me for so long, and mm -hmm. it's just, I'm really tired all the time, and I just really feel like it's time to, like, get out there and, like, do something, you know? Mm -hmm. I'd really like to start, you know, running every day. So you've, you've, you feel like you've had this extra weight, and you just have this feeling that it's time to get out there and become physically active, and running sounds like a good thing for you, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to just kind of you know, jump in and start being more active and really work at this. That's great. That's fantastic. As Dr. Jones said, this is a great way to improve your health. Mm -hmm. What would be a first small step you could take towards um, running? Oh, so not like running itself, like smaller than running? Well, it could be running. What do you well, see would, as kind of the first step you could I mean, I, I was kind of thinking maybe I'd, you know, run a couple miles a day. Mm, okay. So you run a, a couple of miles a day yeah. for starters. Okay. What would be an even smaller step to just kind of work up to that? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I, I haven't really ever been a, much of a runner. So maybe, I don't know, maybe even starting out um, like walking really fast, mm -hmm. like walk, speed walking. Okay. So I could try that. Yeah, since you haven't run before, you feel like speed Speed walking or walking, yeah. and then working up to speed walking, and then working into running. So, what you're thinking? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that sounds like a very uh, good approach. Feel does that feel pretty realistic for you? Yeah, I mean, it it probably would be a lot to try and run right away. I don't even know how my knees would handle it. You know, sometimes my knees hurt just from walking around all day. So, you know, that might kind of not be good to put that much pressure on them right away, mm. right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a, a good idea to work up to it so your body can kind of get used to yeah, the activity. Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Okay, so when do you think you'd like to start? Um, I mean, probably the sooner the better. Um, maybe the next couple of days. Okay, depending okay. Depending on the weather and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And when would you do it during the day? Um, hmm, I guess I haven't really thought about that. I'd probably, probably want to do it in the mornings. I feel like, you know, that's when I have more energy. Mm -hmm. Kind of feel like, I feel better in the mornings most days. By the end of the night, I'm pretty tired and, you know, not really feeling like doing much. Probably mornings would be better. Okay, mornings would be better for you. And about how much time do you think you want to set aside to do this? Um, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes a day. Okay. Okay, so you can tell me if I if I heard you correctly. So you're thinking in a in a day or two, you um, do this in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this would involve getting up earlier. Probably, yeah. Okay, but just a little bit since it's just ten minutes. So and going out for ten minutes and doing some walking mm -hmm. and just kind of sounds like getting uh, a feel for being active again and then working up towards running, gradually. Yeah, that sounds a lot more doable, actually. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, so um, is there anything else that you need to think about um, in order to be able to do this? Hmm, I mean, I guess it would probably help to, you know, maybe pull my walking, like my tennis shoes out, so I have them ready in the morning, ready to go. Mm -hmm. So then I'm just like, all right, get up and go and get it done. Okay. That might help a little bit. Yeah, okay. So kind of get your, your tennis shoes out. Yeah. And, and so it's there. It's going to remind you mm -hmm. of what you're planning to do in the morning. And you're just going to, sounds like you just want to get out there right off the bat in the morning, kind of knock it out. Yeah, I kind of, I, I do want to get started on this. You know, it's been way too long, I feel like. So well, that I think like I'm ready to go. Good, good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll write this down. Okay. Me. So what you're planning to do, just as, just a reminder, is you're planning to run, or I'm sorry, you're planning to walk in the next couple of days. You're going to get up about 10 minutes early, and you're going to, 
you're going to put your shoes out, your running shoes out the night before, your, your tennis shoes. Yeah. And then you're going to get up in the morning, put those on, get dressed, go out for about 10 minutes and do some brisk walking. Yeah, I think so. That sounds like something I could do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it sounded like uh, you also a little earlier were saying just kind of this would be realistic for you to kind of see how your body feels and responds to being able to do that and then you might be able to just very slowly and gradually work up to actually, you know, to running. Yeah, I, I would like to do that eventually, definitely. Okay. Um, even walking though is great exercise and is really good also for weight loss and, oh. and just becoming more physically active and, and getting your body in better physical condition. Okay. So, um, just so you know that uh, although your ultimate goal it sounds like is to run, mm -hmm. the walking itself is also very good for you. Oh, well good. Okay, so um, so you're planning to run for 10 minutes or walk for 10 minutes. Um, you're going to try the first day and then you kind of go from there, huh? Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. Um, how confident do you feel that you are about being able to, to do this? Um, I feel pretty confident. Okay. I'd say I'm confident. So on a scale of, of 0 to 10, where 0 is you're not at all confident and 10 is that you're very confident? Where, would you, where do you find yourself? Um, probably like a seven. I mean, I, I really want to do this. Okay. I think it sounds like something I could start to at least try to do. Okay. And um, why are you a seven and say not a zero? What makes you feel that confident about it? Um, you know, I mean, I, I used to exercise more and, you know, I used to be more active. So I know like I have it in me to be able to do that. It's just been a while, so, okay. you know, I guess I kind of fell out of, you know, doing physical activity and playing sports, but I have done it before, so I feel like, you know, I could do it if I really tried. You've done this before then, so you, you kind of know what's involved in, in walking and running. And yeah, when I was younger, I used to play sports and everything, oh, so, you wow. know, this isn't my first time, you know, trying to be active. I see. Okay, wow, that's great. No wonder, no wonder you feel confident about it. Mm -hmm. What could make you feel even a little more confident? Um, you know, I guess just taking it at my own pace to start out. Mm -hmm. You know, it would make me feel more confident. I really want to make sure, you know, my body can handle it because it's been years since I've exercised. So, you know, mostly I'm worried about like my knees hurting or my back. So I guess just taking it slow would make me feel like I can do it. Great. And I, I think that's really a smart approach. Um, to, to beginning anything, really a new habit, is to just ease into it and kind of get that feedback and, and, and not overdo it to start mm -hmm. out. So I think that's a very smart way to go. All right. Would it be okay if I gave you a call, say, in a week just to see how you're doing? Yeah, you can call me back in a week. Okay, I'll do that. I look forward to talking with you then. Okay, thank you.